In this video, we're going to show how we were able to use the parent field and the hierarchy of accounts and do some roll-up summary fields. Now, this video will be a little longer than my normal videos, but bear with me because this was a really great item that I had to solve for a customer. Now, when it first came up that they said, hey, you wanted us to use the out-of-the-box account roll up hi or account hierarchy, we need some fields that are summarized on that parent account. Okay, so we looked around, how do, how do we solve that? Because you can't do a roll up summary, the regular out of the box roll up summary type for accounts within that parent ID field. So one of my colleagues found this Salesforce Ben roll up helper, which is free up to three fields. Only my customer had four. Great. Can't use that. However, I want you to know the article was extremely helpful and gave me the idea on how to build the flow to do that. So flow to the rescue. Woohoo! In our demo today, because it's longer than normal, I want to go over what we're going to cover in this video. We're going to review the data that I set up for the demo the fields that are needed based on that article I read and the flow that was built. So let's dive in. To get a fun example for the video, I decided let's do the Walt Disney Company. Now, as you see this, I want you to know I did not build out every single item, but we took some of it. So as you can see up here, if you can see, because I know this is a slide if you're on a small computer that you might not be able to read, but this says media networks, parks and resorts, these are just categories. So this would be the top level, most parent company. And on that second level, we're going to go over, which I will show you in a moment, Disney ABC, ESPN, and then the second level is down here as well. We are going to go into Disney ABC with ABC and ABC News, ESPN on that same second level, and ESPN.com, ESPN Networks. And then the third level is the Disney Store and a few Disney Store locations. So let's dive in. Based on that article that I read, I'm now on the account object on the setup side. And I want to show you the four fields that we're going to cover today. I set up account revenue. So I'm going to type in revenue so we can filter down. And then we need the account revenue of children. So if you will, all that are siblings on that same level to a parent. Ignore annual revenue, that's an out of the box field. And then we need the total account revenue. Now for this demonstration, I did two currency fields and two number fields. And one of the currency fields being account revenue, all of these will follow the same pattern. So the account revenue is just a regular currency field. Same thing with the account revenue of children. It's just a currency field. And for my customer, we don't even have that on the page. Not on the page, no one's seeing it, doesn't matter. It's truly just a background field that gets populated by flow. And then the total account revenue is a formula where we summarize the account revenue of all the children plus that record itself. So for example, if we think about a Disney store location, right? A Disney store location would be that lowest level that we're going for right now. I'm the manager of the Las Vegas location and I will fill in the account revenue at my own location. And then New York would have account revenue as well. And then when we roll it up, it would be any children, which doesn't exist on that level, and their own location. And that's why we need both. We need both to equal the total account revenue because that individual account record might have its own. So I'm going to show that a little bit in more detail. I do have a roll-up report going on that we will see later because I haven't run this flow yet. Just built it in here like I built it for my client in their own org, so I have all zeros. Here are my three Disney Store locations, New York, Las Vegas, and I picked Hershey, Pennsylvania. And here I have my fields, the 
account revenue, net profit, that's my parent account, rolls up to the Disney store corporate level. I decided for the number fields, number of cameras. Stores might have security cameras. TV stations would have TV cameras and probably security cameras. And then VIPs, because whoever might be watching this video, I don't know what you might want to roll up. Uh, maybe you need the amount of influential people. That's the other reason I decided on VIPs. They're both number fields, and here are both the currency fields. For the child level attributes, that's where I put the children fields. I put them on the page right now for this demonstration, but again, for my customer, they're just in the background. They don't need to be on the page. And then we have the totals. And of course, the total is any child level and this level. So again, when I get to the Disney Store Corporation, and I will click into that account, that would be important because they are a parent and they roll up to the Walt Disney Company. So the children fields that would get populated on each and every level would be what we saw briefly ago, Las Vegas, New York, and Hershey would be this part and it would fill in and summarize. And then also the corporation itself, they probably have security cameras too. They might have a side thing that's not part of the store where they have profit or as your org you're making profit off of this company that would be a fun switch where you make profit off of the disney company instead of them making profit off of us don't get me wrong i love disney but i digress anyway back to these are the fields that we have and that we need so that our flow can run so now let's go over to the flow now i have built the flow already so that we can just walk through it and makes the video faster. Let's go into our flow. This is a record triggered flow on the account object. And I did formula evaluates to true. And the reason I did that is because I still need it to run if it's brand new and the parent field is not null. And I thought about that. If I'm the top, top level and I have no parent field, do I need it to run? No, because it's gonna run from the other side. That very, very, very top field, if you think about our formula for, as an example, the revenue is the children plus that level. Well, if I don't have any children, lowest level, then it's just whatever that profit is at that particular location, i.e. New York Disney store. If it's higher up, it will run, but at the top, I didn't need it to run. So otherwise, if it's not new, if any of the relevant fields have been changed, was the account revenue changed? Go run the flow. Did the child record or the, excuse me, the child field of account revenue change, which the flow will make that change and then that account will run. So that is my entry formula and I do want it to run every time it's changed and what we're doing from any account record where one of those fields change is say go get me all the siblings so if the Las Vegas Disney store had a change on one of those fields and they are at the lowest level so the field that would change there would be let's say account revenue okay so the account revenue has changed. It says, go get me all the other ones where the parent is the Disney Store Corporation. So now we need New York, and now we need Hershey, Pennsylvania, and however many else. So we're getting all of the records. Then we're gonna loop all of those records. We need to go through them all and assign them to variables. So next what I did is I set up my variables and as you can see, that's a currency variable for the account revenue of, and this one I called the children, and I called my variable the children because ultimately that's the field I'm updating at the end. So I'm gonna click into one of these variables. I don't need to allow multiple. It's just the one variable. It's not a list that I'm going for. For currency, I did two decimal places. 
for the number of cameras. I did zero decimal places, don't need that when it's just a number. So I set up a variable for each of the items that I need to summarize on that same level, right? All our Disney stores up to the Disney Corporation. And when I loop them, I need to assign them. And this one I wanted to show, I'm adding each time. So equals, of course, is the default. And now I'm adding. So I say, OK, here's my variable. Created that parking lot, that bucket for these items to go through. As each Disney store on that same level comes through my loop, add to it. So hypothetically, New York has $25 of revenue. It must be a snow day. Vegas has $200 of revenue. Add to it. And maybe Hershey, Pennsylvania has $100 of revenue. Add to it. So it's going to add to it as it goes through the loop on each of these items. And after we're done, we're updating the parent account from the record that started the flow. Now that means, if we think about it, the Disney Store New York or the Disney Store Vegas or the Disney Store Hershey would all update that same parent account, Disney Store Corporation. Then, because any of those have now altered their field and our entry criteria, if we think about it again, said, or the children is, okay, so now I've just updated the Disney Store Corporation, and now that record will run through and say, oh, hey, there's been a change. Go get me everything on that level. So now I'm updating the child children field with my variable. I've parked all my revenue, I've added it up, and I want to set it on the children. The children of the Disney Corporation, all of them together adds up to what's on the children. So now we're updating our child fields of each one. And then again, I'm going to go back to the front side to go to Disney Store Corporation rolls up to the Walt Disney Company, because they were on that second level. Now, who else is on the second level? Well, my report here summarizes that the Walt Disney Company is the top level, and the Disney Store Corporation is one level, ESPN is a level, and Disney ABC Television Group. So now, because those child fields, any of those child fields, were updated on the Disney Store Corporation, then it will say, oh, we need to run the flow on that record and go get all of this level and then update that as well. So now let's enter some data and I'm going to go into Disney Store New York like we talked about and I'm reporting my revenue at the end of the day and we made $1,000 but our profit was $500. We have five security cameras and two VIPs. And now I will go to Disney Store Las Vegas and my profit at the end of the day, well, my profit, my, my revenue was $3,000, net profit $1,500, it's Vegas, we have nine cameras, and we have seven VIPs. So now let's go look at our report. New York had $1,000 and I don't have the profit on here. I don't have the VIPs. I decided for the report just to have two of the numbers. And so between the 1,000 and the 3,000 for revenue, that total is $4,000. Disney Store Corporation, the parent, their total, right? The children is $4,000, but the Disney Store Corporation, because it doesn't have anything on its own record, is $4,000. And the Walt Disney Company is now $4,000. So now let me go to that Disney Store Corporation and say, okay, now mind you, they really wouldn't see these. These would not be editable because we only want the flow to update those. But in and of itself, you know, $3,500 and my profit was $2,000. We're a corporation. We still have to have, you know, security and cameras. So we have four cameras and of course we have 25 VIPs here. Now I'm going to go back to my report. The revenue at 3500 and the child revenue would be 4000 The Disney Store total revenue at that location is the children plus 
its own record, 7,500, and that then rolls up to the Walt Disney Company. In the interest of time, so I didn't have to show you more, I did update a few more. I updated some ESPN network items, but what we really want to look at down here now is the Walt Disney Company with the second level. These accounts here look up to the parent and then you can see them duplicative on here. So you don't want to pay attention on this particular report to the very bottom number, but let's go over that specifically on cameras. So these three stores, their cameras are 14, and then the Disney store has four of their own, and the total is 18. If I look at the Disney ABC television group, where they are the parent, on this level, ABC News's Good Morning America has 20. ABC News doesn't have any cameras of its own. It's only 20 all at that lowest level. So the ABC television group has a total of 20. And down here, then, on the Walt Disney, it's saying, okay, rolling it up, Walt Disney Corporation, I didn't put any of its own, so it's 20. So the total is 93. If I go into the Walt Disney Company, I can see that the total number of cameras all rolled up is 93.